it may be shared later on so this uh, we are starting the recording so let me start with the presentation now Yeah. So, this is the first slide. So, uh, uh, engineering is a human activity. So, let us see, uh, like how we perform as compared with, with the other animals. Uh, we say we are incredible human beings, but then we don't have any of these capabilities. Uh, elephants, uh, it's massive structure. Then uh, you have the shark or. Uh, uh, aquatic uh, beings, then you have a lion or you have the uh, eagle who can fly around. So we don't have any of these capabilities here. We uh, you know, Compared to these, some of these animals, we are very limited. But then what we have achieved with the sea. So we have, uh, first one is a space shuttle. Uh, second one is uh, your uh, satellite. Then you have a... a Massive ship, then you have a submarine, then you can stay in the space shuttle. So these are the things we have achieved. Okay. Yeah. So if you take a sample, this is only a sample of our uh, human progress. Yeah. Any issue? Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any issue? Pardon, sir. Pardon, sir. Any any problem there? No, it's fine, sir. We are getting your voice, sir. Yeah. So, if you take a sample of uh, human evolution pro or human progress, this is very symbolic. Not that these are the total thing. It's just a sample I have taken. So you have uh, started from uh, rock age to the uh, internet so we have seen the metallic revolution then we have developed the one of the after wheels uh, computers are supposed to be the most innovative thing human being has developed then uh, uh, not only that we have invented uh, developed the computers then we have uh, interconnected all of them and then we have the internet so not only we have not stopped there, then today we want to replace us. See, earlier systems, they didn't have any intelligence. So now we are giving intelligence to the system. So many of you are studying artificial intelligence. So we have, we are giving to, so that, see, the one of the uh, uh, major uh, plus point or uh, assets of human beings was the intelligence so, so that uh, we can take uh, wise decision so that is so now the increasingly the machines uh, are capable of doing that so we can replace us so we don't need an operator or anything of that sort and then we are connecting all the all this not only the computers because today any system will have a small computer in that. So whether it is your TV, fridge, or any uh, any gadget you think of, there will be having a small uh, computer in that. So we can connect them. So you can connect all those systems together. So you have uh, not only really today you are not talk you don't talk of uh, internet. Uh, internet was a network of computers. Today we have a network of all things so that is properly known as iot that is internet of things because that is possible is because almost all systems today or any gadgets you think of whether it is a phone or whether it is an automobile or any for that matter we i have given a glimpse of those some of those things whether it is your even you can see your mixi, mixi or anything any household items also all those things have a built-in a computer in that so we can connect all of them together and uh, we can uh, form what is known as IoT uh, or uh, in, uh, Internet of Things or Internet of Everything. So you can connect everything. 
and so and then you can control them naturally like the way you do with the uh, computers you can do that. and the uh, system will be smart smart means it can learn and it can take decision that is the meaning of a smart because we say uh, this is a uh, human capacity that we learn and then we can take intelligent decision or why or what is known as the wise decisions really a system also can do then we say it has got intelligence or it is smart so this uh, uh, internet of things can learn and uh, take decisions of its own so we talk of uh, smart systems like that so today we have reached that kind of cap capability and more and more devices or systems are getting connected to this network so in, you uh, more you are talking of internet of things and then uh, the, uh, there is a tremendous amount of progress uh, in uh, in the intelligence or which is known as the machine intelligence or artificial intelligence and uh, then machine we talk of uh, machine learning and uh, things like that so those uh, things you will be in the due course you will be studying the features of all those things i am not getting into that right now or in the today's presentation but this is just to impress upon you what is how or i mean what is the status today so what made it possible first let us uh, try to understand that what is like uh, we are also I, uh, the first slide or second slide i have shown that human didn't have much of uh, uh, capabilities and if you look uh, our, our biological sciences says that uh, genes decides our uh, features our capabilities and the things like that so if you uh, our uh, uh, nearest mammal we, are, we belong to the family of mammals the, the science says so uh, our nearest uh, mammal uh, ancestor is the chimpanzee so if you look at the genes we have 98% of the genes of chimpanzees and the human beings are same so only 2% difference between in the genes of chimpanzee and the human beings that 2% is making the and you know the what are the capabilities of a chimpanzee and the compared and the human being so that 2% is making a big difference so uh, we belong to the species known as homo sapiens homo sapiens do you know the meaning of the word homo sapiens anybody can this tell me what is the meaning of homo sapiens so anybody wants to answer that homo sapiens what is the meaning of the word homo sapiens Almost, uh, yeah, I, I think there are issues there for interactions, so I'm uh, uh, continuing. Homo sapiens means wise man. Actually, it's a Latin word. Uh, it represents, so human beings, uh, actually it is uh, that way. Human being means wise, that they can, they are intelligent. So homo sapiens is the uh, word used for showing the human species. So we are uh, homo, we are supposed to be homo sapiens. That means wise or intelligent. So it is from Latin. So this is the this two per I told you there is only two percent genetic difference between uh, a chimpanzee and a human being. So we have a great power and uh, and it, oh, that also this is a famous statement from from the movie the Spider Man. The great power comes uh, great responsibility also. We have a responsibility to take not only to take care of ourselves but to our uh, the universe in general not only the earth so we are going into the cosmos so we have to take care of other because we have a greater power we have seen as compared to the other animals 
So we have a greater responsibility. That is why we talk of uh, many of those environmental issues and many other issues we are worried about because of our responsibility. We have the responsibility to take care of all those things. Yeah. So this is burden or power or whatever, say that two person difference makes, gives us a lot of power of, at the same time, a lot of responsibilities also it gives. Now, yeah. I want to try to understand. Uh, see, very often we talk of science, engineering, science and technology, yeah. engineering, etc. So uh, uh, let us try to understand what is the meaning of uh, science and what is how science and uh, engineering are different or what is uh, what makes it different both are uh, human activities like uh, you have uh, humans uh, have a lot of other activities like science engineering then you have arts you do uh, literature and also many human activities are there so here primarily we are concerned with uh, we will be discussing about science and engineering so let us see what is the meaning of uh, what do you understand by science and then we go to the engineering what do you mean by uh, engineering or what is the what is the role of an engineer so that is what uh, we will try to find it out in uh, today's discussion so so let us try to understand uh, sci uh, scientists what they do so we talk of a scientific method so we uh, so what they, what does the scientist do he make observations on, on the about the surroundings so it can be uh, through one's own experiences thoughts or reading so then you, you think of uh, interesting questions around that why why does that happen uh, how does it happens and uh, things like that and then you find a reason or a, a what is the, why it is causing that particular aspect so then you formulate what is uh, formulate what is known as a hypothesis so a general uh, causes for them so we find a cause for something happening and uh, that is uh, that cause is uh, can formulate into a hypothesis then of course uh, based on the uh, repeated observation we talk of experimentation we refine it alter it expand it or reject the hypothesis and then you develop a testable prediction so based on your uh, experimental observations then gather data to test predictions you collect uh, that data collection is essentially uh, it's experimentation and then develop general theory around that so this is the uh, typical scientific method and it is an ongoing process yeah this is so so it is in put it in simple terms there is a world around us or nature we we can everybody observe nature it is not only that only scientists observe the nature we all observe nature then we can make measurements and we can write down a large table of measurements and we can take objects and measure the see for example uh, most of you are familiar with the electricity so let me say you are, all of you are familiar with voltage current etc so simple uh, you take a uh, object take an object apply a voltage across it then can f f measure the current flowing through it then you can go on changing the voltage and you can see the current uh, change in the current so you can make a table say for example i apply one volt i get a current say uh, the 0.1 ampere uh, again i increase the voltage i get a current of uh, 0.2 amperes similar so i can get a table so then i see a pattern in that see for example whenever i am changing the voltage i see a corresponding change so then seeing this pattern anybody can observe this but then uh, what does the scientist do he will make based on this uh, observation he make abstractions so that abstraction is for example in the, the example which i have uh, shown 
I can come to a conclusion that voltage is equal to voltage is directly proportional to current or the current is directly proportional to the voltage applied. So I'm, when I increase the voltage, the current is increasing. So I see a pattern. In that. So here my mathematics comes in very handy. So I can say V is equal to Ri. So I can, that is an abstraction. So because uh, mathematics says that when some one quantity is directly proportional to other, so you can uh, say, uh, 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 see, for example, X is directly proportional, or Y is directly proportional to X, then Y is equal to a constant into X. So similarly, I can see in this particular case. So this is an abstraction, actually. So what does it an abstraction mean? So because uh, this uh, uh, thing, whether it you are doing artificial intelligence, whether it you are doing VLSI, IoT, these abstractions play a very important role. So they are the generalized statement. See, for example, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. is a mathematical abstraction. Y is equal to MX. is a mathematical abstraction. Uh, it's a mathematical abstraction. So we use these abstractions to systematically study the systems. So once we have these abstractions, uh, we can, so the, based on our observations, we can come to an abstraction. So for example, Y is equal to MX. What is the physical thing it is representing? Anybody can tell me this? Y is equal to MX. Does it, does it bring to you anything? Y is equal to MX. Yes, I would like to get an answer. Uh, pardon, sir? Yeah, Y is equal to MX. What does it represent? Anyone? Any response? Hmm? Yes. Equation of line passing through origin. Yeah, actually, oh yeah, that's right. Actually, it is an equation for a straight line in the sense. So y is a function of x and m is a constant here. So any two variables, if they are this kind of relationship if uh, y is a function of i mean uh, y is directly proportional to x so it represents a, a straight line so whenever we have an abstraction like this whenever this kind of a pattern is observed we can see that the relationship between y and x will be linear so there is a linear relationship because this uh, then you can have a similarly uh, you have a hyperbolic relationship so all those things can be abstracted into a formula so you have uh, you will be extensively for example you have seen that uh, so in the 12th you might have studied about the equation of a diode it's an exponential or the and the y and x the relation the voltage current relationship is exponential there. so you have uh, an exponential level uh, when you increase the voltage there is an exponential increase in the current in the case of a diode after a particular value of voltage and things like that. So this kind of abstraction. So whenever you have that kind of relationship, we can uh, uh, use it as a diode. So this kind of uh, abstractions are very important in science. And we will see that this is also important in engineering. Yeah. Now, let me come to the. So this, uh, we have seen that. Uh, uh, Evolution, there are many uh, development happened. There are, uh, it's a continuous process and it's an ongoing one. It's not that uh, we have reached the dead end. So there are many uh, questions still uh, raised and uh, we are looking for answers to those uh, questions. Then there are apple moments. That means they, uh, it happens accidentally because uh, the, as the story goes, uh, like uh, Sir Isaac Newton was sitting under the, an apple tree and uh, it, uh, some apple fell on his head and uh, he started thinking about it. Like uh, So that was quite an accident. And then he formulated the gravitational theories and uh, things like that. Then there are eureka moments in the sense 
Archimedes. He was given a problem. Uh, you can go uh, after the this presentation or the weekend. You can go through that story if you don't know. Uh, so then he was given a problem by the king, and he he was uh, obsessed with that. While taking his uh, bath, he came across uh, uh, the reason behind that. So the one was he was thinking about it, and he came. That is why that is what I call it as eureka moment. And there are apple moments means. Accidentally, you come across so these kind of uh, things happens in science. There are apple moments and uh, there are eureka moments. So it, it started out as an inherent. Many, very often, the basic science started with an inherent curiosity. For example, we have seen the apple moment. Exactly, it was a uh, curiosity. From that, he uh, the, and then now increasingly, uh, we are looking at uh, uh, many problems. Which uh, there are uh, problems, and we try to understand and try to solve those problems. So, and we we we, can, we have seen uh, all of us know. I don't have to be like uh, at this level. You know that uh, the science has helped us tremendously the way we live. Now, coming to the question of uh, engineering. So, what is engineering, and how it is different from? Uh, by the way. Science means, uh, the, it's again a Latin word. Science means uh, uh, to know. Actually, it's a Latin origin, scientia. So that is uh, the meaning is uh, to know. So now, what is engineering? Engineering is, uh, as uh, so many of the people would like to use this definition of engineering, it is the purposeful use of science. Engineer is again a uh, Latin origin word. It uh, means to devise. So we have seen that uh, scientists observe nature and gives us abstract abstractions. And uh, engineers play with that, actually. So uh, you can say that, uh, in a way, engineers may not be uh, doing anything original in that way. So uh, uh, they take advantage of these abstractions the scientist has formulated, and then they develop systems so that here we are using the term purposeful use of science so they devise systems for the benefit of all so that is the uh, that is the role of engineers so you as you study uh, and already you have studied many but you as you in your course you will be studying many of those abstractions what uh, branch of engineering you are doing you will be uh, going across through all those abstractions. Then you will be seeing those uh, mathematical techniques. And th that you can put it into uh, useful purposes. Or, or you can uh, devise systems, whether it is an electronic system, electrical systems, or uh, software systems. All those things, you will be using those abstractions. So in the course, you are going to get an orientation for that. So first, you will be equipped for that. So you'll be studying. Uh, then uh, very often, uh, the question arises, uh, what are the things involved in this uh, orientation? So the task uh, in the engineer's uh, hand, it is uh, from mind to market, I'll put it as uh, this way, mind to market. So engineering is all about finding solutions to our problems using our scientific knowledge. See again, if you go back to the my third slide, we have we have seen that uh, we have developed many things, uh, starting with uh, like uh, computers, space shuttle, all sort of uh, automobiles and uh, things like that. So, so it's all is application of science. And again, one important uh, deviation comes from as far as science and uh, engineers, scientists and engineers, scientists may focus their attention on one particular property. For example, the example I talked of change in voltage with current or change in current with voltage and make an abstractions on that. Whereas engineers, so engineering system involved multi-dimensional means 
So for making one system, there will be more than one scientific abstractions involved. So when in a product, there won't be, there will be one or more than one abstractions. So, and then uh, it's not about one branch of science. There will be multiple things happening simultaneously on your system. So you should have some basic understanding of all those things. So it is a multi-dimensional uh, challenge for an engineer. Whereas a scientist, as far as the scientist is concerned, so he is, of course, the scientist has to do come the original idea. Whereas uh, uh, engineers, it is a multi-dimensional task, actually. So when you are developing a particular sub, uh, system, the physics involved in that, the chemistry involved in that, there could be biology involved in that. All those aspects has to be dealt with simultaneously. So you need to understand, uh, basic understanding of all fields of science are very often necessary. So in an engineering course, typically in the initial years, uh, you will be given the basic understanding of those fields of science you will be doing a course on physics you will be course or you will be doing a course on uh, chemistry you will be doing a course on math of course mathematics mathematics is the central thing for all uh, abstractions so you will uh, do a lot of uh, uh, mathematics and mathematical techniques which will become very handy in developing your systems or for your abstractions then you will have a bit of uh, biomedical and, uh, understanding. And then uh, you need to see, for example, we are talking about mind to market, so the market tendencies, uh, uh, demand, etc. And uh, so you need to do a bit of uh, humanities. So you'll be doing, and then you need to communicate. So you need to have the com proper communication skills. And so humanities also come into play. Not only the uh branches of science but uh, humanities and uh, economics and uh, things like that and then uh, today increasingly you will be studying a course on environmental uh, science of course there is a branch of uh, engineering uh, which is uh, environmental engineering but uh, all other engineering graduates also do a course on environment because that is increasingly we understand we are understanding the importance of uh, main, uh, maintaining uh, the environment and especially we want to reduce the human activity induced uh, pollutions uh, so that uh, we we can we want to control that through the global effort so that is also these are some of the aspects in the uh, engineers hand so then we have a branching of engineering because as a, just like in physics, uh, we can, uh, like early when you talk of a very elementary level, you had only, we talk of science, which, uh, but then as our uh, uh, knowledge sphere increased, we could not, we had to branch it out. Then, uh, so when you started uh, science, you had uh, physics, chemistry, biology, or maths, then you have each, this core branches uh, follow the because very often when you talk of science, uh, this is physics, chemistry, biology is the core, and of course the maths uh, also is there. Then physics is uh, further branched into mechanics, optics, acoustics, electricity, and magnetism, nuclear physics, astrophysics, etc. Even again, even uh, the mechanics is also further. Uh, subdivided as the more you go advanced level you will see that all you know, all these branches have further subdivisions and uh, things like that similarly chemistry you have organic chemistry you have inorganic chemistry you have physical chemistry etc and similarly the biology also you are branching out to for our convenience and as the we go to the advanced level. similarly engineering also the branching took place your core branches popularly known as these are some of the core branches we have the mechanical engineering we have the civil engineering we have the electrical engineering well, these were supposed to that now of course the bio uh, the chemical engineering also these were the core branches now we have further branching and additions have taken place for example electrical engineering you have uh, 
to separate electronics and uh, then of course the uh, communication became very important so electronics and communication many of the engineering colleges you have the electronics and communication engineering as a separate branch uh, suppose uh, when you look into some of the old uh, in institution including iits they don't have a separate electronics and communication engineering uh, department uh, it uh, comes uh, it is treated under electrical engineering department but increasingly you have the electronics and uh, communication engineering then you have uh, uh, computer engineering uh, today uh, computer engineering is one of the kind of a core branch because uh, it has gone into all branches of engineering like whether it is mechanical civil electrical or any branch for you for talk of any branch of engineering today computer engineering is a kind of core branch then you have the chemical engineering they have then you have uh, biomedical and then you have uh, now more specific uh, engineering branches have come out like networking cyber security then you have this uh, vlsi a a data uh, data engineering and things like that so more and more branches are coming out just like in the case of sciences we have seen that they are very specific see if, uh, again one thing we have to understand when earlier we were talking of electronics and communication you see here i want to give an, a bit of emphasis into vlsi apart so earlier electronics and uh, communication engineering was combined together there were two part of it one is the electronics and uh, when you talk of electronics it is the electronic system that is the hardware part all of you understand the difference between hardware and the software so electronics uh, uh, deals with the hardware part of uh, the systems or the computers or whatever and then you have the communication because the communication aspects were very important today when we talk of communication increasingly it is replaced by the network of computers actually so uh, uh, traditional uh, communication engineering which was uh, taught it's not uh, very relevant it's not that it is not being used but increasingly it is the computer network the, uh, communication happens through the computer uh, computer networks so um, uh, you can separate them out so uh, vls whereas uh, especially in indian context vls the very large scale integration uh, systems were not given much importance at the undergraduate level only at the postgraduate level uh, level uh, most of the organizations or the institutes were teaching their students so um, aict and many other uh, policy makers understood the importance of vlsi so they are branched out uh, vlsi into a separate uh, graduate level course that is btech in vlsi and uh, decoupling it from communication and similarly a if you again uh, we are increasingly more and more a based uh, devices are coming so it is uh, uh, it is starting as a separate course or a graduate course earlier it was uh, there is a specialized course in the uh, postgraduate level now uh, it has gone into the graduate level so these are the uh, uh, different branches. It's not uh, exhaustive list. There are uh, many other branches which I may not have mentioned here. This is just uh, giving you an example of uh, the, the different courses. Again, along with this, so uh, like very often, uh, people don't give much importance to this. But along with the technical skills, I will talk of the first part is the technical skills skills the second part is the soft skills so soft skills are non technical human skills needed in every job across every industry because uh, we are either creating engineers for the industry or uh, uh, trainers for the engineers that means teachers for these are the role of an uh, engineering course either the first uh, job is to create engineers for the industry or the, for the product development or academician who can teach those engineering students so, so so there are certain uh, non technical skills uh, needed across uh, for the, from the uh, expected from the engineers that is the 
communication uh, skills you will be they will be able they should be able to present uh, what are they what whatever things you are they are involved in then problem solving suppose uh, they will identify the problem and uh, uh, they study the problem and uh, they have to come out with the base, based on their knowledge they should be able to come out with the so solution then critical thinking is uh, very important then analytical skills or analysis perseverance perseverance that means uh, consistent efforts persistent efforts and uh, creativity coming out with the new solutions and all these are considered soft skills so, uh, so uh, this also uh, play a very important role in making an engineer not only the technical skills technical skills are important so uh, most of the engineering courses uh, give Im importance to soft skills training also so, so that uh, part should not be ignored yeah so with this i uh, my part of presentation i am stopping here so i expect uh, uh, the questions so one by one so another 10 20 minutes we can spend on questions and uh, uh, i will try to answer them or yeah yeah I would like to have uh, take some few questions from the students. Yeah, one by one. Friends, any question? Sir, they are saying no questions. No questions. So why why there is no questions? There was uh, it was too simple. Uh, he just read from AI. He want to ask something. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All is clear. All is clear, sir. Clear. Yeah. You want to run away? Yeah. Anyway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any question from friends? A topic for that. Anyone from AI, PLSI? Why this bit in the service? Want to ask? Yes. Actually, they don't want to ask. Me. There is no question. Yeah. Then I am giving them. Now, a task. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You tell me. You can ask questions from them. No, I have a prepared a quiz. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that uh, link, I'll be showing, uh, giving it to uh, you. You have to uh, after my lecture is over. Immediately after that, you have to. Give the give them that link, and they will answer that. There will be a sh short quiz. They will take that quiz, and the result screenshot should be sent to me. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. So, the, I, I can uh, straight away. So the, uh, I should get it by one o'clock. I should get the result. Okay. It is the so. So the result screenshot. I have already given my mail ID. Okay. Okay, sir. And so I am just showing you the link of that quiz. And or shall I post it on? Shall I post it on the this thing? Or shall I post it on the chat box? Or can you, or in the slide, you can note it down from the slide. Okay. Me, sir. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Gurgaon University, yeah. B AI. So how to improve soft skills? Soft skills. See, for example, what are, what is a soft? First of all, you have to understand soft skill. First starting point is the communication. So you should have uh, good communication skills. Actually, communication basically means uh, see, uh, English is uh, is a global language. So you should be developing uh, good communication skills in English. How now? The question is how to develop good communication skills in English. First of all, you should have good vocabulary. Then you should uh, listen to uh, good speakers. So actually, there are uh, uh, various resources available online uh, for uh, improvement of uh, communication skills. Uh, even this, uh, many of these online IIT courses, they are giving that. So free of cost, actually. So, so there, uh, so uh, communication skills. That is the first thing. Then uh, develop gradually because no, uh, that is the first step. So because you should have de developed the communication skills. So then you give presentation. So you should form a group of people together. They have uh, then you have debates where you talk select a particular topic and then debate over that whether it can be uh, any social issues or any problem any sub, uh, like some engineering problem which you feel that uh, and you can sit together and discuss a small group of four or five people so and then debate could be then a debating on an issue could be against and for so that kind of uh, debates these are all will this all will help you in uh, communication then critical thinking so whether some uh, then something comes to your mind why it is so uh, you see you raise quest, uh, ask questions yourself and try to find out that so that is the typical uh, scientific attitude and that will help you in a long way in engineering uh, the critical uh, thinking similarly you take problems so that uh, you will get a lot of opportunities in the do course to problem solving so you have uh, typical engineering you might be given assignments etc so either as a group or you identify yourself you identify problems immediately in the first year in the first semester it may not be possible for you but as you go on in your second year third year you will be able to find out uh, the engineering problems related to your area and then you try to solve it individually or collectively that means a group of people together so teachers may be giving you problem but then apart from that you can uh, try to solve the engineering uh, take up the problems and all that and then you can publish it and you can uh, you get of course you will get credit for it also so that way uh, gra uh, gradually you can improve your uh, soft skills actually it, uh, it has to ha happen parallelly don't think that there will be a separate time for developing soft skills. So along with your technical skills, the soft skills also should be improved gradually. You have patience, but you should have again make consistent effort, regular effort. Regularly, uh, daily, you devote some time for that. Uh, you will be giving a lot of time your technique, uh, improving your technical skills. Along with that, you try to uh, give time for improving your soft skills also. Yeah, you will be having language teachers. They can assist you in many of these things. Or you have a group of. Uh, I I will suggest recommend uh, teamwork in this. I mean, you form a group of uh, four five students or friends, and then uh, take up these challenges. Actually, so that is the best way. Uh, groups. Uh, so it will that way. It will be beneficial to all of you. Like five or for, suppose you have a group of five people. So it will be beneficial to all the five. Actually, and they will and uh, your strength you will be sharing with because don't keep that attitude i if i know something i don't want to share it with others that uh, attitude will not work there so you have some strength you share it with your friend and fr your friend will be having some strength that he will be sharing he or she will be sharing it with you so it will be mutually beneficial so that way or uh, this uh, then that will help you in teamwork today teamwork is the most important thing actually so you should when you go for an industry they may be looking at your technical skills but 
uh, most important thing is the team as a team player how good you are so that is very important because no product is uh, developed individually it's all team effort actually so your uh, group uh, chem uh, why you talk of group chemistry etc is very important so all those things uh, also because that is a very good that is the uh, beauty of uh, studying in an institute you have a group of people uh, like minded people with the same goal so you can work together and learn together that is uh, that should be the attitude yeah i hope uh, i uh, answered some of your i mean your yeah okay sir thank you sir there is one more student yeah my name is deepak sharma yeah. i am from pratham yeah. university from btech ai i have a yeah. question what yeah. is acoustics pardon acoustics a branch of physics acoustic means sound it is the sound physics of sound okay sir acoustic is physics of sound like acoustic engineering because actually suppose you have a developing a then you to come across acoustic engineering means suppose you are developing a theater auditorium so there the acoustics become very important like you develop the audio systems there so acoustics is the physics of sound okay sir yeah hello uh, yes sir any question he will ask you yes so sir everything is crystal clear to me fine <laughs> i don't want to hear that i have want to i am interested in knowing your questions any not knowing <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Any other question? Yes. You want to ask? What is Bank three point two? Pardon? What is Bank three point two? Three point two. What is that? I didn't get your question. Web three point zero. Sir, what is Web three point zero? About what? I mean, I didn't get you. I mean, I didn't understand uh, the question. Actually, he want to ask about the technology that is Web three point zero. Technology three point zero is uh, digitization. Like I think. that tech industry four point zero, four point zero. There is yeah, a, yeah. another technology that is Web three point zero. Yeah, this is about uh, uh, when you talk of an uh, internet of everything, and uh, there it, this will come. I'm not very sure about it, so probably some other time we will. I I'll be able to answer it actually. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Any other Any question? Other? Hmm. Related to any branch, subject, topic. Yes. Of general concern. Anyone? Any no, no question. Okay. No, sir. People have no question now. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, this if uh, this uh, lecture was uh, useful as an introductory level, then uh, some other time we will introduce VLSI and uh, device physics. Some other time, probably, you know, if you wish. Actually, because I don't know what how useful today's lecture was. So that, uh, depending on that, we uh, you get a feedback, and then probably we can have in future interaction we can be more technical, actually. And now today to end, uh, normally my uh, I uh, make a quiz based on my lecture. Since uh, today it was a very general lecture, I did not. Prepare a quiz 
related to my lecture so i prepared i have uh, taken a link about the cyber security so what is uh, what, what is uh, just to test your understanding of cyber security or uh, what is the like uh, that kind of a quiz i have taken so what should i do whether it should be shared on the slide or it should be sent to a chat or it should be sent to boopsing via whatsapp what should i do i can display it you can note it down and uh, before you uh, disperse you should finish it and then because i hope uh, all of you have net connection so what do you suggest actually hello hello yes sir, sir. Yes, sir, sir. Yeah. what is your please suggestion sir please repeat the question see actually i have prepared i uh, taken a quiz on cyber security so a very elementary which should be every all of us should be knowing that that is it's a very general uh, quiz so i okay, want the, all the participants of today's lecture to do that if uh, so how i will share i i shall i project it on the screen and they will note it down and they will start doing the quiz or i should send it to chat box or to through whatsapp so that is what my question i can uh, project uh, show it uh, in the okay, slide also actually, actually uh, they're saying that uh, if it, it is possible that you can display question from there yeah I know. One by one I know question. it's only a link they have to note down the link only if they, all of they have internet connections Sorry, sir. Project All of them have uh, in the uh, phone. They have the internet connection. Uh, they have mobile phones, yes, sir. Yeah. So they note down the uh, inter uh, that uh, link and then start doing on their phone. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. So I am projecting it then. Okay. So please note down the link. Okay, sir. Uh Means, yeah, uh, you will send link for quiz. Yeah, this is the this is the this is the link. These are the two links. First is a very simple one. Second one is bit advanced. But once you first uh, note down the first link. Okay, are you able to? Is it visible? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, I am sending the link to their groups. Okay. So huh. they, before they disperse, they should do it first. First one, and uh, probably second one they can. If the time is not there, then second one they can do it uh, separately. But the first, at least first one, they should finish it immediately. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you, are you able to see? You know. 
Isn't that link for the quiz? First one, no? Yeah. yeah. I have sent it to your WhatsApp also. So we can note it down from your. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, phone, mobile phones were switched off. Eh? Hey, pardon? Uh, mobile, mobile phones were switched off, and they are just starting. That's okay. So that is, uh, so uh, the second one also you not you have noted down both the links, no? Hello. I am sending this link to these students. Sir. Yeah. Okay. So it will, uh, it will take uh, we can conclude. Minutes, uh, we can. Uh, you have noted down now. No, it's okay. You carry on. So I will. Uh, in the meantime, I can log off. No, you don't have to. I don't have to remain online. Hello. 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 Yeah. Uh, first one, yeah, I have sent uh, both the links uh, to you, you through WhatsApp also. So in case uh, you have made some mistake in noting down the link, you can do it separately. OK. Yes, sir. Yes.
So, shall I log out now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, I think uh, so. I I hope uh, this was a useful discussion. Actually, there so, is some internet connectivity issue, sir. Yeah, that you take. Uh, yeah, you take take care of that. I am logging out anyway. So, anything else from my side? Hello. Yeah. Anything Some, else? Uh, friends are saying that they will submit the quiz after some time. Yeah, yeah. It okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's okay. I am logging off. And uh, we will send the result to these students in a group. Yeah, that's fine. I just want to make sure that they have done it actually. That's all. It's not so. Uh, and. Uh, uh, Okay. I would like to, I would like to uh, know anybody scoring full hundred percent. So they are the special. They they should be sent specially. Like I will try to uh, give them some send some gift to them. Actually, if they, any of them get ten out of ten or hundred, I mean hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, then thank you for your patience. So I'm just closing. Uh, okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you for everything, sir. Thank you for sharing the time. And uh, thanks from friend side, friends. Thanks, sir. Okay, bye. I hope uh, we will interact in future so, or we will meet sometime in future. Yeah, fine. Okay, sir. Nice, nice intention. And, and thank you. Uh, you are there. You are uh, wearing all sweaters and all those jackets and all. Here I am sweating because it is thirty plus the temperature here in Kochi. I'm sitting in Kochi, so the temperature here is thirty plus and very humid. And there you are all putting all winter clothing. Yeah, that is the geographical and the climatic variations you see. You want to? Uh, he is friend from VLSI and uh, want to say something. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Sir, nice lecture, sir. Thank you, both, sir, sparing your time. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. Bye.